September 17th is the day they adjourned. They wrote the Constitution. It was done being written on September 17th. What had to be done to it? They wrote it. Ratified. Approved by the states. So it had to be ratified or approved. It was not an instant success. People, there was a big fight over it. Remember the fight over it? What were the two sides? The Federalist and anti Federalist. Okay. Um, the anti Federalist, they did want, now I want you to understand this part of it. They wanted a stronger central government than what they had. They just did not want King Kong. They recognized we got to do something, but we don't want King Kong. And they were afraid of this constitution creating a King Kong. When you say King Kong, does that mean just like a... They wanted a new... They were asking, we need a monkey. They didn't want a monster truck, they wanted a sedan. We didn't have a car. They were afraid of a monster truck. And they, did, they were afraid that this constitution created a monster truck. Um, they wanted to make sure the states were protected. They were afraid of what they'd been through. They were afraid of the oh, the English government. The Federalists didn't want King Kong either, but they liked what this Constitution did. They wanted a strong central government, and they were confident that this Constitution did not create a King Kong. They, 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 they had a 4 by 4 but they didn't look at it as a monster. Anti Federalists probably want a Ford Ranger. Okay. Not a Ford Raptor. Not a Raptor. Not, not, um, not Grave Digger. Yeah. <laughs> now, the Federalist Papers. I'm going to leave that date up there. Remember what the Federalist Papers were? There are a series of documents, a series of, of articles that were published in newspapers and pamphlets, and they defended and promoted the Constitution. They tried to get people to support the ratification of the Constitution. Who wrote the Federalist Papers? James Madison. Left the date up here for a reason. What's the next, the first four words of the next part? What's the big thing? On September. Stop it. Two years later, the Constitution's not ratified yet. So two years after, it's still not close to getting ratified. What did they agree to put in there? The Bill of Rights. They said. <coughs> Two years later, they said, okay, we'll have this Bill of Rights. And they, they, they proposed 12 of them. First 10, they were fine. The one about congressional pay was 200 years after. The one they did not pass was one that would limit 
Okay, the House of Representatives. Every representative would represent 5,000 people. That was the limit on the number of people. That did not pass. That's a good thing it didn't pass. Because if it passed, that means for every 5,000 pe people, there would be one representative. We have 330 million people now. I think that ends up being about 66,000 representatives. Is that right, man, people? Anybody? So we'd have a stadium. We would not have the Capitol. We have, we have something to do with RFK Stadium now. They built a new stadium for the Redskins, or old stadium, I think it's still sitting there. That would be the new Capitol. And Nancy Pelosi would have to get on the air and yell, and now, ladies and gentlemen, you know, that wouldn't work too good. 66,000 people in the, in the house. And see, that's, that's math that we can all kind of understand. There's no letters involved. If you start having letters and, and words like, I've seen math like this. I, is that what they is that what they use there? Yeah. I've heard of that. This is where it started being. No, no, this is not where it started. It was full on. I was just, we got to hit somebody. So that doesn't. And we've been trying to solve for X since I was in school. You know, in 1981. If you can't solve for X since '81, well, let's stop doing that. I think I walked by Mr. Wagner's room and he was solving for P. I said, we moved on from X finally? We solving for P now? He goes, P for Panthers. Okay, well. Now we solved it, P for Panthers. We've already got it solved. That's right. But Americans, what did they not trust after the revolution? After England's government, what did they not trust? Government. government. They didn't trust government. Did they have a reason to fear government? Yes. Yes. And that's why the anti-federalists really just didn't like any kind of government. They were scared of any form of government. And did they even well, blame them because we're just trying stuff out. Nobody knows. It's all a guess. And what did the supporters of the Constitution agree to in order to get this thing ratified? We don't have lefts, we have rights. That's correct. We have right. Turn left, right. No, left, right. Now we're going to get into something. It really doesn't matter in here. But we're going to do it anyway. There are civil liberties. And there are civil rights. Civil liberties are protected by the Constitution. Name one of your civil liberties. Congress should make a law. Establishing. It's in the Constitution. Congress shall make no law establishing religion. a national religion. First of all, then so, freedom of religion is one of your civil liberties. Freedom of speech is one of your civil liberties. What's another one? Yeah. Some invitation. All right. The rights, especially in the First Amendment. That's your civil liberties. The rights are spelled out and protected in the, in the Constitution. Your civil liberties. Your civil rights are ones that are protected by law. Basically, your civil rights protect all American citizens' ability. Participate 
in society, <clears throat> and just living life, getting a job, buying groceries, and in government. Running for office or government. The Voting Rights Act of 1964. That law protects your right to vote. That's for your civil rights. The uh, um, the Civil Rights Bill, also in the early 60s, protects your right to get a job no matter what race, sex, creed, whatever you are. Um, I moved to Hempstead. Downtown Hempstead, there was this, this building. You there was a railroad track, there was a building, and you turned down the road that went down to the high school, the main main road. You made a T. There wasn't a, a, a plus, it was a T. Okay. So, Business 290 went this way, then this highway cut south. You turn and look at the side of the building, but the back side door here, you can still see in 1996. Over the door of payment, you still see the word color. Now think about that. 1996. It wasn't new paint, but they hadn't painted over it. They hadn't taken it down. You could still see it. Why? Why was it not? None of us know what anybody else is going through. If I was to bring someone in from Houston's Fifth Ward and bring someone in from Olney, Texas, and sit down at a table, they would have different stories of our life. And they're both true. But the person in Olney knows nothing about what it's like to grow up as a black guy in Fifth Ward, Houston. The guy in the fifth floor in Houston has no idea what it's like to grow up as a black kid in Arlington, Texas. They're both true, they're both real, but neither side knows the other story. Um, does that sign being up there, could you argue? Could you argue that does not violate anyone's civil rights? I guess you could. You could. But I think, like, no. Like I saw this thing about somebody asked this, like this old lady in German, Germany. They're like, how did y'all like move past? I mean, like that was like a decade of just genocide and like, yes. how did you move past? And she was just like, we refuse to. Or she like accommodate that anything that resembled that part of our history. So right. like, like, I'm not saying that like all statues are bad and stuff, but because they're not. But right. a sign that says colored, like. That's just a, that's accommodating a part of your history that shouldn't be accommodated. Right. It should be remembered, but it shouldn't yeah, be accommodated. Yeah. So. yeah, and I think that, I, don't know, I thought that was a good point that German lady made. Though. I grew up. I was gaining consciousness in the world, yeah, like four, five, six years old, as all this was changing. And I don't remember any segregated water fountains. I don't remember any segregated. I don't remember that. I do remember my best friend in first grade, his name was Shea Sneed, Adolphus Shea Sneed. He was not white. And he asked me to come play at his house, and mom's brought me over to his house. And as a five year old, I looked at her and said, Mom, why do all the black people live up here? Uh, uh, er, uh, uh, that's not the question she was wait, wa wanting to answer when I'm five. And she tried, to, I remember she said something about the Civil War, and she was really trying, I think she tried to really do a good, but why, why, I don't get it, why? Why, why did he live next door to me? Why does he, she, didn't, she couldn't fully explain all that. Uh, but I'm, I'm not gonna ask any, anything like this, but like if you're in college class, they probably, to me there's really no difference really between civil liberties and civil rights, but civil liberties, these, these laws, are, these are protected by the Constitution. Civil rights, 
just like as a girl, as a minority, as a handicapped person. No, well, I don't speak. Yeah. No. Um, all right. We have we have a law that was passed, I think, in 1990, called the Americans with Disabilities Act. And after that law, all public buildings have to be built with access to someone in a wheelchair. So we have ramps. Is it good that we have that? Mm -hmm. Sure. In the coach's office, in, um, in the bathroom, we have a little shower with a chair in it for a, for a handicapped person. Is that bad? No. Are we probably ever going to have a coach in a wheelchair that we probably won't? So does it add expense to some things? Yes. I think I remember, this is, I think I remember a braille sign outside the, the driver's license place. Yeah, can I get that? Teachers, like the driver's license. I hope. Thank you. <laughs> Now, um, but anyway, we do have stuff like that. We had one of those hard showers down in the Marine. Yes, you did. And I have used that one because you had a kid, he didn't necessarily get a heat stroke, but it was starting to get, and so we sat him down and just put the water on him. And he's able to just sit there and let the water go down. Everybody's here. Or Mitch McConnell just talked to us. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Um, all right. I'm not saying this is a little bit different. The rights spelled out in the Constitution. What are those rights? Right to uh, right religion, nope. freedom of speech, right to liberty, property. Right, liberty and property. Oh. So the happiness in the Declaration. Did I say Constitution? Life, liberty, property. Declaration of Independence. Who is owed this? What is the Declaration of Independence? Everybody. Everybody. Yeah. You know, Muhammad living in Iran. Uh, Jean living in France. Max living in Texas. All of those people are owed life, liberty, and property. That's that's universal. What about civil rights? I think you can do that first. If I move to Iran, am I going to have the rights guaranteed by the Constitution protected? No, I'm not. Now, I don't mind someone coming from a foreign country and us granting those rights and protecting that person's civil rights, even though they're not an American citizen. I don't mind that because it separates us from Al Qaeda. I like separating. Someone coming in from France could be expect to have their life and liberty and property protected. If so, they're, if they're an illegal immigrant living in Dallas, they have their stuff stolen. I want it. I want the police to take care of it. You know, it's a broad guarantee. I asked Duggins this morning if <laughs> kids today still put systems in their car. And he told me yes, and I felt good because I know y'all don't buy stereos. Anymore. Stereo or a system? Okay, well that's part. Of, that's you, you got to do that yourself. Yeah. That's not something you want parents. Well, to. it wasn't like a whole system. I got you. Let me like part of it. Yeah. My next truck I get, it's gonna thump. I haven't had a truck that thumps since like '95. Yeah. Because when it's time to thump, it's time. I, I, I want. There's some, if this song comes on, yeah, we we gotta feel it. It's time to thump. Christy does it. My at the house, we will crank it every once in a while. Um, this guy at my work put a system in. Yeah. It's powered by this lithium battery in the back of the truck. It's this big. Oh, yeah. It's ridiculous. Like, it goes. It, it's crazy loud. I used to have the speaker box in the back of my uh, truck behind the seat. You, you can move it. You can take it outside. You need to ask Aaron about his. He just got one. Like, you mean the guy that said we fought the revolution against Spain? Yeah, that guy's got new subs. Oh, he's a good question. Yeah, I, I want that to live, live on. That he, 
It could be like the Spanish galleon from now on or something. Uh, let's say you get a system in your car. You have the right to do that. You have the right to phone. Yes. Okay. Could you get pulled over if you drive by, drive through a neighborhood at three in the morning? <laughs> Yes. yes. Why? Why? Yes. So why do we limit people's personal rights? When they violate other people's To make sure we all have rights. Because if we don't limit it, none of us have. Does that make sense? We have to put some limits on it to ensure we all have them. Um, I have to allow this person to wear the FU shirt if I want to wear my Jesus Loves You shirt. I can't now I, as a store owner I can say you can't wear that in here. I can't say you can't wear that shirt. Uh, um, what is a situation where the government can limit free speech? I got a radio over here. Okay, I just Twenty years ago I paid thirty bucks for it. I just turned it on and stuff comes out of it. Did I ask for any of that stuff to be here to come out of it? No, it's just here. There's radio waves, there's local TV stations that are automatically here that I can automatically have access to. Does the government regulate what those stations can put out there? They say there's things you can't do or say or show. Like national security stuff. Well, yeah. But I'm just talking about like naked girls in cussing. There are the local TV channels and local radio stations are not allowed to broadcast certain things. Why? American values? Did I ask for any of that to come into my house? It's just there. And if cult happens someday, some miracle happens, and he speaks to a girl someday, and say he gets married, and then they have children, and they come to the house, the little three-year-old tank, or whatever his name, Bronco, that's what he's the name he said. Because um, he was so mad we didn't name uh, Titan Bron or Bronco. I said, you know, you have to be, it may or may not fit, you know. Titan has a ring, Bronco. But, it, it, but you have to be Bronk. Right, yeah. You know, he might not be like Bronk Pearson. That doesn't sound right. Would work. No. I'm now, like 125. <laughs> now, Bronk Kelsey <laughs> might work. But Bronk Pearson, that doesn't work at all. Yeah. Um, even when you got the kickoff, someone run the kickoff. It's not <laughs> Bronk Pearson running the kickoff back. Um, I have a right to, to make sure my three year old is not turning on naked girls and cussing. Can you ask for that to come into your house? Yes. Yes, you can. So that's a situation, obscenity laws and things, vulgar, like, like there's, the government does limit that. Um, what about a commercial where they say, if you take this pill, you'll lose weight without, without having to change your eating habits or work out. Now that happens all the time. They'll say that. Take this pill, you never have to work out or change what you eat. They say, they yell this out. Is there false advertising laws? Yes. They're, they're, the Federal Trade Commission regulates. You can't say, this cures cancer. No, it doesn't. It doesn't cure cancer. If you're an idiot, you think it's cures cancer. They, they will throw that out there because they'll say this or show this in big letters and then, no, that's not right. This whole thing. The guy comes real quiet, real fast, and the letters go by like a million miles an hour. But if it's in the commercial, they go, look, look, we told them no. We told them so, so uh, advertising, there's there's limits there. There is also limits uh, with uh, okay, so, like national security, that kind of stuff. Yeah, well, watch, those, watch the commercials sometimes. Just pay attention to what you actually can hear and what you have to actually work for. Yeah. You know, is everything just right there in the middle? Uh, the courts. How do the courts protect your liberties and your rights? 
do a lot of they have lawsuits. That's where you, if you feel like you were fired because of your religious beliefs, or if you feel like you are, um, I told Jimmy, he'll say you're not hired, and they, you feel like it's just because you're a girl. You can go there. So now, a lawsuit, like, if somebody just says, like, I have a lawsuit, do they have to, like, can they just request a court date and just get it? No, they, it has to care, give it a make court sure it's like, Make sure it's, like, legitimate. They can't just sue you for just anything. It might get thrown out, or a judge might, whatever. No, if you're going to lose. And then maybe you could file that with somebody and say it's not fair that they didn't, you might, you know, it costs money. Yeah. And you could, but you could put in there, they have to pay for it if it, if it comes out my side. Oh, they just pay for more bills? Sometimes. If I ever did that, I would do that. I can't wait till I get sued. I've never been sued before. But all I'm gonna be my own lawyer. I'm gonna be my own lawyer and all that my only defense is gonna be I was their teacher. What are they gonna do? Listen to me? Place closed, you know. And what nobody listens to a teacher? What are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you talking about? Dismissed. And the ACLU. The ACLU is the American Civil Liberties Union. <laughs> And this is a group of lawyers. It's not just a group of lawyers, but this is an organization. What the NAACP <laughs> It's kind of, but the NAACP, this is a very broad, the NAACP is looking for the rights of African Americans. This is anybody who feels like their rights have been violated, you can bring your case to them and they may or may not take it and sue on your behalf. So if you feel like you're being treated wrongly or your rights aren't being recognized, you can go through them and they might sue for you. Um, they, in the past, had a tendency, I haven't heard of them in a long time. I used to hear them all the time and they'd be suing a school because the valedictorian was gonna say Jesus in it. Which may or may not be a problem. Um, what if the city of Decatur puts out the city council votes to buy a nativity scene and put it out on the courthouse. What's a nativity scene? Like the Jesus, Little Jesus manger. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. What if right next to it then, um, what if a city council, what if the city council doesn't vote for that, they vote for a little satanic scene to be put out on the courthouse square? You can't, a courthouse really can't do that because you're saying this is what we believe. And we don't believe this. A private group could possibly go to the city council and say we'd like to pay for a nativity scene sponsored by whatever. That's possible. But maybe the question is on the court on the courthouse grounds. You're saying this is what we as a, as a government believe. This is what we as a town believe, and you can't do that with public lands, public money, public whatever. ACLU that that's exists. ACLU would probably sue on on behalf of that. But they're not a bad organization. Due process. What do you remember about due process? If you're arrested, the right it's the rights that are protected. protected. And I always say it's the things they can do to you if you're arrested, things they can't do, and things they have to do for you. Get that? When it comes to America, you can't just look at something and say, well, that I agree, and I think that's okay, so that can be done. You can't do that. Can a business put an ATV scene up? Yes. 
Yeah. Could they lose business for that? They yeah. could. Could they gain business for that? Yeah. Sure. What if they put a huge Merry Christmas, Happy Birthday Jesus sign up? Are going to lose some business or are going to gain some business? I don't get the atheist that buys Christmas presents and gives them on December 25th. Yeah. Why, why are you doing that? Uh, why are you doing that? Yeah. Why that day? Every year is a dog.